warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And our live game is Leicester against Weston. My name's Peter Drury, and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. the lineups we've just been given the whistle so Jim who would you identify as the key man in this fixture um, I'm going to pick Jack Wilshire lots of injury niggles have held him back a bit but he has plenty to offer a great passion competitiveness loves a dribble and a tackle and has always been able to find the goal and for me he's a big big talent yeah I'd have picked him too no doubt the fans feel much the same way Passes it through. Clears it out of harm's way. Aimed long and direct. Spreads it wide. Felipe Anderson. Morgan gets it away. Here comes another cross. He's dealt with that well. Well, what was required then was a little more patience. He didn't have to cross it so early. Of Bonner. Gets into the right position to intercept. Gets it upfield. Has a hit! Decent enough try. Well, when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Well, I think the early signs have been very good for them. They've already got that defence unsettled, and now they've got to back it up. And it's Fardy. Fardy with a shot! That really should have hit the net. Zabaleta. Oh, good starting the game at a pretty decent tempo. Felipe Anderson. Pumps it upfield. The other side yet able to force a breakthrough here. He's got the ball, he's got the space. Forward it goes. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Who's going to make this theirs? Forward it goes. Now it's Vardy. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. With a delicate ball. And the defence can get it clear. Looks to slip it through. Looks like a good ball through. And he's there to hoof it away.
Zabaleta tries to get it forward quickly. Tries a through ball. Spoon forward. That's put paid to a promising move. Tries to get it forward quickly. Decent ball. Fuchs. Gray. All this over the line. Gray. That's a pop! It's a loose ball. Felipe Anderson. Long and direct. No goals as yet. Now the pass. Ogbonna gets good distance on it. Gray, goal kick, no, no, I stand corrected, it's a corner. Away from immediate danger, aim forward, passes it through, Felipe Anderson, Kasper Schmeichel deals with it effortlessly. And it's half-time here. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. Start of the second half. Leicester can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Looks like a good ball through. Vardy looking to get on the end of this. That's surely a foul free kick. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. West Ham, they've got away with it this time, but I think if they carry on giving away free kicks in positions like that, I think they'll be made to pay. They've got to be very careful, just a little more disciplined as golfer. Fuchs. Gray. Floats one over. Well read, he sorted that out. Where to from here? Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Tries a through ball, and the finish! 
top save. That shot was travelling. And he's there to make a great save. Keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. any better any other time it would have sneaked in uh, needed a better pass there Fuchs. Not long left, and still we await the breakthrough. Leicester look as though they're about to make a change. Pumps it upfield. Oh, good interception. Leicester still contemplating when to use their last remaining, and he has been fouled there. He's gone out for a throw-in. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Clearance now. Can anyone get on the end of it? Goes long and forward. Plays it out to the flank. Looks to slip it through. Great. Morgan. He's a clever pass. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness too. That wasn't quite matched by the, the right way. Lanzini concedes a free kick for that. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. to get it away Ball's loose who's getting there Vardy tries to stroke it through yeah, he's offering an apology for that he needed to deliver a better ball and it's Vardy Vardy with the ball through out for a throw Westham their final change I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Played in with accuracy. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Vardy pushes it out wide. Now here's the through ball. about singling someone out well they seem intent on marking him out of the game they're certainly trying to wind them up in the process Peter
Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Well, that was coming, Peter. You know, he was on a final warning after all. Well blocked, and back out it comes. Tries a through ball. That intervention was very necessary. Well positioned to make that interception. Fuchs, and it's all bright. Thrust towards the front line. to stoppage time and it is still goalless now the pass the bonner the referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle a frustrating game for attackers on either side they hardly had a sniff defense is broadly in charge and it has finished goalless so what do you take away from it all jim Listen, I think they certainly met their match here. Uh, there was a lovely ebb and flow to the encounter, but very little to choose between the teams, and so we've ended up with a, an entertaining share of the spoils. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.